It's what you think about that person. Oh, they would like this. Oh, then you marry them and you start, oh, wait, they, they're always going to be here. We call it that fire begins to go out. We do the same thing with God. Because when we first got saved, man, we were burning. We had a New Testament in our front pocket. We had, we had some chick tracks in, in our back pocket. Uh, we, had a, we had the King James Version in, 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 in a Bible in our car. We had the NIV. We had, we had a box of books in the back. It, it consumed you everything. Oh, you only wanted to listen to the Word of God because that fire was burning. But after a while, it's begun to fizzle out. And now it doesn't matter if you listen to a message. You, you quite, you're satisfied just watching the latest broad, news broadcast, sports broadcast. I want to burn. And this is a burn. I, I, I want, a, I want a, a burn with a fire, church. And, and I don't want it just to be me. I want us to burn where, where none of those things matter. All that matters is God. All that matters is what he's doing. All that matters. Lord, Lord, be that consuming, that pillar of consuming fire that goes before me. And I just want to follow. God uses fire to refine. I want to ask you a question. If our God is a consuming fire and we're not being consumed by him, are we in contact with him? 